point 6.30 in the evening. The sun's just setting over the horizon to the west of us here, over this garment. It's beautiful, beautiful sunset. We're just moving into the marsh pride now. Just coming up to one of the females here. Okay, isn't that amazing? This is one of the, this isn't actually the mother, the mother's behind this. This is the sister of the mother of the three, three month old cubs. It's a reed buck calling in the distance there. You can hear that loud piercing whistle. Reebok's seen this lioness and is giving an alarm call. There it goes again. Reebok's only about 50 meters from us, but it has the lions in sight and it knows that's the flight distance. If the lions would get up now, if they were to get up and start moving towards the Reebok, it knows it has enough distance to be able to outrun the lion. It's getting dark now. We have a lot of wildebeest up on the plains over to my left to the east. I think as soon as it gets dark, I'll probably use the cover of darkness now to move in on those wildebeest and probably be hunting wildebeest tonight. Looking quite lean. It, it, it doesn't look like they've eaten for the last uh, two days at least. So tonight could be the night for them to make a kill. A lot of wildebeest around at the moment. This is the loiter, um, the loiter herds that are here with us right now. So they wouldn't normally be here if the um, if the rains had come and there would be if there was rain. Uh, if the rains had come in November, and suitable rain, uh, sufficient rain, uh, there would have been enough rain um, on the loiter plains to, which would have kept the wildebeest there and they would have had their calves there. But right now, there's no water there, there's no, they've had no rain, there's no water, and all these uh, wildebeest, the loiter herds, have come into the marsh. It's very, very unusual for this to happen. Um, so we have all the wildebeest in the marsh at the moment, we're talking big numbers. You know, there must be about uh, at least 15,000, 10 to 15,000 wildebeest here, and uh, lots of zebra as well. But amazingly, the wildebeest have started giving birth to calves. Anyway, we're about to head off back to camp and let me say goodnight to these lovely ladies and this particular one here. Isn't she beautiful? And we're going to be out here tomorrow morning, come and look at her and spend some time with her. And her cups, and hopefully get some nice, uh, some nice pictures in the morning with a beautiful sunlight, early morning sunlight. But beautiful, look at that. Just isn't that amazing? And, and we're the only car here right now. So I'm really enjoying this exclusivity with this animal right now. Very, very precious. Very special.